Assalamualaikum universe. Today in this video, I am going to describe another problem based on Hermitian operator. So first of all, you need to consider two operators A and B. Okay, if I call these two operators A and B to be Hermitian, then their product A, B should also be Hermitian. So in this video, what I am going to describe is if there are two operators A and B and both of these operators are Hermitian, okay, then their product A, B should also be Hermitian, okay. And when, when the product could be a Hermitian if and only if the product is com commutative product, okay. And what do you mean by commutative product? The commutative product means that if I have A operator and B operator, then it should be equal to B A. So, commutative product means that it doesn't matter whether I apply B first or A first, which means that the order of the application of the Hermitian operators doesn't matter okay so I'm going to describe all of this in my following video in this video okay so as you know that the Hermitian product for a Hermitian operator I have an equation that says if I have two functions psi and phi okay then I have an equation psi hysteric and my operator a for example this is an example operator a being applied on phi okay d of tau then it should be equal to phi gets out and a operator will be applied on psi a operator being applied on psi hysteric d tau okay so the hermitian operator condition says that both of these equation the left hand side of the equation and the right hand side of the equation should be the same whether the operator is being applied on phi or the operator is being applied on psi hysteric the answer should be the same okay so what if i take two operators instead of a single operator okay so now in this case i am going to take the product of operator a b okay so now here i am going to take the product of operator so the product of operator should be like psi hysteric and instead of a i am going to write a b product okay this product a b the product of hermitian operators okay or dt is equal to psi hysteric being repeated the same as you know that a b should be equal to b a okay so i'm just proving the commutative property here that a b or b a the product of both of them should be equal okay a b or b a it doesn't matter the order of the application but their answer should be equal okay so the next thing as you know that this here is the equation for Hermitian operator and this here is the equation for commutative property okay this is the equation for commutative property and this is the equation for Hermitian operator so the next thing that I'm going to do is just write the integration sign here psi hysteric this a will apply on phi and b will go out of the bracket so what if a is applied on phi so here is the condition in which a is being applied on phi and b is out of the bracket okay so what does it mean it means that operator a is applied on phi and i get an answer and i get some answer after the application of a on phi okay after getting the application after the application of operator a on phi i get some answer and after getting the answer i will apply the operator b okay it means that the operator a is applied first and then the operator b is applied so now consider b here okay this equation here let me highlight it this equation here was the equation for Hermitian operator okay it was a general equation for Hermitian operator it was the general equation for Hermitian operator Okay, and our proof of this statement starts from here. Proof. Okay, from here our proof starts. So the next thing that I want to add is here that as you can see that this is here, this here is the general equation for a Hermitian operator. And what if I apply this general equation for a B operator? So let me just write this general equation for B operator. Okay. So if I write this general equation for B operator, it should be just like this. Psi hysteric B operator being applied on phi d tau phi 
B operator being applied on psi hysteric okay D tau so this is the general equation that I am going to use so now as you can see here here okay as you can see here that my B operator is being applied on a5 okay so what if I take as you know that when operator a is applied on phi when an operator a is applied on phi what i get the answer i get an answer equal to a constant a and an operator phi the same operator is repeated in the product as you know that for the hermitian operator there should be the eigen function so the eigen function says that when my operator is applied on phi then this phi will be repeated in the product along with the constant value okay so instead of writing a phi i can also write a phi small a phi instead of writing a cap phi i can write a phi and instead of writing a phi i can write a cap phi okay these both are uh, interchangeable so the next thing is, uh, that if my b operator is being applied on a phi as a whole okay now if my b operator is being applied on a phi as a whole okay and now i compare this with left hand side of the general equation okay first me first of all let me clear this that this here this all of this here is the general equation general equation okay this here is the general equation that I am going to refer to so the next thing here as you can see that B operator is applied on a phi as a whole but here B operator is applied on phi okay so when B operator is applied on phi in the product the B operator is applied on psi hysteric and phi gets behind it so now compare this part with the left hand side of this equation now if operator b is applied on phi and here the operator b is applied on a phi okay so what will be the answer first of all i will write this again psi hysteric okay comparing i am writing this uh, part but in comparison here it is integration and integration psi hysteric psi hysteric the next thing is b here the next thing is b okay since here b was applied on phi and now b is applied on a phi and now b is applied on a phi d tau okay so here b was applied on phi but here b is applied on a phi so what will be the answer so as you know that this phi goes behind in the in the right hand side of the equation this phi goes behind in the right hand side of the equation the operator b was applied on phi and on the right hand of si side of the equation the phi goes behind similarly this a phi will go behind okay this a phi goes behind the next thing is when this phi goes behind the operator b is applied on psi hysteric the operator b is applied on psi hysteric similarly when this a phi goes behind the b operator will be applied on psi hysteric so b operator will be applied on psi hysteric d tau okay so uh, this was how my operator was applied so the next thing is if i rearrange this equation okay if i just rearrange this equation and write it like b psi hysteric okay a phi d tau so now as you can see here that this part is just similar to this part here okay this part is just similar to this part here here a is applied on phi here a is also applied on phi here thus i have a psi hysteric function here i have a psi hysteric with b operator function okay instead of psi hysteric here instead of psi hysteric here i have b operator psi okay and instead here i have a operator similarly applied on phi okay so this part of the equation is just similar to this part but instead of psi hysteric i can write b psi hysteric so now what will happen first of all i will write it here b psi hysteric a operator being applied on phi d tau okay now i have just written this part here and now in comparison with this i am going to get an answer 
so as you can see that here a is applied on phi okay here a is applied on phi and on the right hand side of the equation the a the phi, this phi will go behind okay so this phi goes behind this a, uh, a is applied on phi so in the in the result this phi goes behind so this phi goes behind okay so the next thing is i have this operator on applied on psi hysteric so a operator applies on psi hysteric on the right hand side of the equation similarly this a will be applied on b psi hysteric on the right hand side so this a will be applied on b psi hysteric on the right hand side since a is applied this a is applied on the psi hysteric so i can write it as a hysteric d tau okay so if i open this up i can write it as phi a hysteric and bracket opening i have b psi uh, b hysteric psi hysteric d tau okay so as you can see that taking this part to be equal to this part here my operator a is being applied on phi okay here my operator a is being applied on phi similarly here my operator a is applied on phi so comparing this to part when operator a is being applied on phi this is equal to well when my operator a is being applied on, on psi hysteric and the phi goes behind similarly here the phi goes behind and my operator a is being applied on b psi hysteric operator a is being applied on b psi hysteric so well, when my operator a was applied on the psi hysteric the hysteric also got onto the a so here the hysteric will also go onto a and i have b and i have psi with hysteric so it becomes a hysteric b hysteric and psi hysteric and i can write it as phi a b hysteric d tau okay so okay i have psi psi hysteric d tau okay so now you can write it as as you can see that my starting point was here psi hysteric a operator b operator phi d tau this was my starting point okay so after solving all of this i get an answer that is equal to phi a b hysteric being applied on psi hysteric d tau so as you can see here a b as a whole is being applied on phi and since this product is a hermitian operator as we have proved so a b being applied on phi and on the right hand side this phi will go behind and this a b will be applied on psi hysteric so similarly there this has happened on the right hand side of the equation this phi has gone behind and a b is now being applied on psi hysteric so i can say that if i have two operators operator a and operator b and both of these operator are hermitian and their product commute with each other okay so i can say that if i have two operators a and b and both a and b are hermitian operators and this and their product a b commute with each other that is a b is equal to b a and in this case then i can say only in the case when a b product the product of a operator commute with each other only in that case i can say that their product is also hermitian which i have proved in this final equation in which the a b was first applied on phi and then a b was applied on psi hysteric okay so this is my proof so here the video ends so do not forget to like and subscribe inshallah see you in the next video